Well, Brent and Sarah, I can tell you that the incidents of bullying and hate first came to light when parents say their son told them about the bullying and hundreds of messages, harassing messages at that, filled with racial slurs uh, sent to him by a group of 10 students at the Nathan Hill Middle School. And they say it's been going on for months. Our community is suffering and much harm has come from these actions. There is no time to rest. We must address this at a community level with honest, open discussions, which we will do. The East Haddam Board of Education began Wednesday night's meeting by addressing the ongoing racism and bullying of a middle school student. So I spoke to, to the father's uh, uh, not non-biological mom today and and she's she's devastated that her grandson had to go through this. The Middlesex County chapter of the NAACP and the group BLM 860 was notified by family about the bullying and quickly took action. It seems incidents like this are constantly being swept under the rug and um, we feel that people need to be held accountable from the students who should learn from their behavior down to administrators that allowed it to happen. Ford Saunders says the bullying has gone on for months with a group of 10 students bullying and sending over 100 racist and threatening messages, some in a group chat, the group of students named after the KKK. The vice president of BLM 860 says they believe the students aren't being disciplined appropriately. They may be getting more of a pass because some of them are student athletes. Um, and I understand that student athletes tend to be the bright stars of a school district. I'm not sure if people saw that it said we're proud of our schools right on the um, welcome to East Haddam sign. How can you be proud of your schools if all students don't feel safe? Ford Saunders says she wants to see hate crime charges brought against the individuals involved even if they are minors. First, second, third degree, it is a hate crime. And I want it dealt with such, it is a hate crime. They need consequences. Anything else, we have consequences. You do something wrong, right. there are consequences. So do not stand up here and think that you are so privileged that you could do something like that and not have consequences. It's not on our watch. Now, the East Haddam uh, superintendent and the Board of Education chairs say they take this very seriously. In fact, the police are now investigating these incidents. Reporting live in East Haddam, Jake Garcia, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.